Hey guys, okay, welcome back to the channel. I am Tanisha Davis and this is day seven of our great 30 day decluttering challenge. many of you are out there joining us I also realized that this is the same shirt I had on in yesterday's video which wasn't recorded yesterday it was recorded a week or so before yesterday I don't know I don't know but it wasn't recorded yesterday but yo I'm too lazy to change my shirt it just is what it is I'm a busy woman ain't nobody got time for semantics and keeping up of appearances okay so let's just talk today is day seven and I am so freaking happy that so many of you out there are joining me in this challenge how is it going for y'all a lot of you don't have channels so tell us in the comments below how you doing are you excited what's the most difficult part that you have found so far to me Right now, it's not difficult yet. It's not difficult. It should be, being that I just decluttered 500 things in the month of September. If you haven't seen that video, it's one video about the whole process from start to finish. Check out the eye in the sky. And um, yeah, I'm, but let's talk about day seven. These are the seven things. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot two of the things upstairs. Wait, I'll be back. Okay. Whew, I'm back. Okay, so these are the seven things that we pulled to represent our gorgeous day seven. I'm looking out my window right now. My neighbor is practicing um, golfing. But the thing about it is our yard's not that big. So it's like, I gotta keep an eye on this situation. He's over on his side of the grass, so distracted. He's over on his side of the grass, but it's like he's actually swinging and hitting balls that can very well pop over here on this side of my um. It can hit me. It can hit my windows or house or something. I can be like that neighbor or I could just let it all go and go with all is well. 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 Okay, let's talk about the seven things though. Okay. This printer right here, and you know what? Hmm. The thing about this printer is I can't read this display. My mother, I should try this. My mother Googled how to fix it because she refuses to let me just throw something away and buy a whole new one. But I had this printer since about 2009, like when I first bought this house. So in my mind, I feel like, you know what? Do I feel like taking time away to try to fix this when I already got a uber busy list? Y'all know a healthy list of things to do. If y'all don't know about it, once again, check out the eye in the sky. I always have a list of so many things. And sometimes it just feels like, would it be easier to just get rid of this and buy a new printer? Or would buying a new printer take up time because you have to research the printer, go out to buy the printer, set up the printer, and all of that jazz? So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But right now, this is here because this is where I it was and I plan on getting rid of it. Okay. We also have this little colorful doohickey right here. This guy. This was what one of my art pieces was stored in that I purchased when I was in Cambodia. Was I in Cambodia? Oh my goodness. I believe it was Cambodia. I think it was Cambodia. Yeah, it was. It was Cambodia because I'm kind of remembering we were at temples and some of the other people who were with us was looking at the temples, but we were kind of all templed out. So I was looking at the artwork. So, yeah, um, this is from Cambodia and it was storing a piece of art that was rolled up in, inside of it. That piece is actually now being framed. So we have no need for this anymore and then you see right there there is an alarm clock 
that who needs that and I found it I don't know and stored in some bin and this guy right here I don't I had to google what this was I don't even know what it was or if I ever used it but it says it is a wireless Microsoft wireless optical desk receiver and I believe it probably went with a wireless keyboard and mouse set so yeah that's what that is and then over here we have this vacuum cleaner which is going to go right back out here when we're done with this because that was used to vacuum up the moths in the pantry again it's going to be in that same video that we did the weekly goals in, okay? Um, yeah, the exterminator used my vacuum cleaner. It was on its last leg anyway, so I don't feel terribly bad about getting rid of it. And then the last two things are these standing lamps. One doesn't work, that one right there. And this one is just janky because the concrete stuff in the bottom fell out that would keep it straight and upright and all of that. So these are the seven things, guys. This battery is like, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. But these are the seven things, guys. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you're not a member of the Fab Tribe, and leave a comment below. And let's talk about this journey, this process, until the next video. Until the next video, which will be tomorrow. Peace.